Hello, it's Daffy again. Another Minecraft video. Alright, today I decided that I have a few hours before I gotta go to work, and I'm going to show you a very easy way to get a little bit more oomph out of your Minecraft graphically. Now, a lot of people know about the um, setting it to um, high priority. So that's obviously you just get into uh, your system, start task manager, like so. I know, it probably looked a little weird. I have it set to be a little smaller so that uh, my Minecraft will run. And the idea is that you're going to go and um, pick something on your task manager and you're going to set the priority to a, to a low or high. I, I have set it so that my priority for my Minecraft is high. Now, a lot of people just stop right there. Well, I'm going to teach you how to go the full distance. It's a one, two, three punch, if you will. Um, the other thing you're going to do is you're going to delete a lot of junk off your, your uh, processes. There's a lot of stuff that Windows doesn't need to run. It doesn't need to be running it. So you just shut that off and you just cancel that. You end the system tree. It's going to take some exp uh, exploration and experimentation to find out exactly what's right for you. Um, you're definitely going to want to um, figure that out before you try this. And the wonderful thing about modern computers is if you turn something off that... Um, crash at the computer, just turn off your computer, and if your computer's frozen, unplug the battery, plug it back in, your computer will probably yell at you for a little bit, but it's gotten to the point where technology nowadays, hard drives can handle that kind of shock, just don't do it too often. Um, honestly though, know what you're doing before you do it, that's kind of the, the blanket statement I'm going to give you. Anyway, the, uh, the important thing I'd like to tell you is that most of the stuff that I have here, for my machine anyway, is the stuff that you're going to want to leave on. Um, this is my um, speakers. I leave that on because I found that if I turn it off, all the sound stops working, which is not something you want in Minecraft. There's some very nice sounds in it. Um, task schedule engine, host process, Windows Task, and the Windows Task Manager. That's all running the, the task manager. That will probably shut down when you turn off the task manager proper. So you don't really need to worry about that. Um, or anything, but you do want to uh, set the priorities to low because chances are it's going to be running in the background anyway. Windows Logon application, that is something that fixes your uh, login info during a session. You want to leave that running. I found that if I turned it off, my Windows crashed, so leave it on. Uh, client server runtime process, again, same thing. Uh, Windows Desktop Manager, uh, that is what makes these windows work, so obviously you want to keep that going. Um, Hypercam, well, obviously I'm recording this, so that's running at the moment. Um, persistent module, I have no idea what the heck that is, but it won't shut off. And you're going to come across some things that do not want to shut off. They'll just continuously come back on, come back on, and leave them. Just set them to a low priority, and you'll be fine. That is the thing I would like to mention, is that you're going to want to set everything but Minecraft and possibly a couple of other things to low priority. Um, the sound I have set to below normal. And the Wi-Fi manager I also have set to below normal. The reason for that is these actually need a slightly higher priority than anything else because if I'm going to be playing online, I need these. All right, so what are you? What are we going to be doing to make everything else run? Well, just a second. We get Firefox open and set to a size that you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, there we go. go all right what you're going to do is that a lot of computers um are running java 32-bit um, that's what's comes installed now i don't know if you've noticed since 1.0 um that if you try to set your render distance too far it warns you that you have to have 64-bit java that's a big hint that that minecraft really wants to be running on 64-bit java so you're going to want to go and go I want to go input there. There we are. 64-bit Java in Google. And you're going to go find a, there we go, free download for it. This is the single best investment of free time that you're going to have. You're going to download this. Now, I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to do it again. You're going to download this and install it. Don't worry. This particular one that I found, CNET, uh, seems to be a good, good source. I didn't get any problems with it. And it did fix my problems 
Make sure your system can run 64-bit Java before you download it. But generally, if you're running Windows XP, 2003 Vista server, anything like that, you should be good to go. Um, running a computer that has been built in the last four or five years should run 64-bit Java. There you go. I mean, honestly, this is the single best advice I'm going to give you. Um, it's going to make things run a lot smoother, especially if you don't have a high-end graphics card. This is going to force your computer to run high-end graphics. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to close that. The other thing that you're going to want to do is, is in Minecraft, you're going to want to set some things up on... Um, you're going to want to try to set some things up such that the uh, graphics are running better. So we're going to go into Options, and we're going to go into Video Settings. This is stuff that you should know already. Basically, yeah, you can run all your, your graphics at high-end, and if you have a high-end graphics card and you've done everything else I've told you to do in this video, go right ahead and run this stuff as, as all the high settings. Generally speaking, most most users, you're going to run the graphics on fast. That's fine. Um, you don't need that. This is okay. Brightness, eh. Get rid of, get rid of the, the particles. I wouldn't turn them all off. I uh, usually just have them at decreased. Um, render distance can be normal. Um, I had it before I did all of this at short, and you are going to see a marked uh, increase in your frames per second if you have it set to short. I have it set to normal because the computer I'm running on now has a better graphical capability than the computer I was running it on before, just slightly. So I have a little bit of wiggle room. Max performance on your uh, frames per section, obviously. Um, I've turned view bobbing off. That's an extra animation that the, the computer doesn't have to do. Um, most computers that are modern have OpenGL. That helps things, so you're going to turn that on. Turn off your clouds. There's an option. That really is going to help. I've noticed you don't need clouds. They are just, they're just window dressing for Minecraft. Um, if you're looking for the, for the experience, and I'm going to say, you know what? The experience is you're going to be underground half the time. Why do you need clouds? All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, that is all I wanted to teach you about playing Minecraft and uh, its graphical capabilities. You do these three things, and I guarantee you that even the most sluggish computer will run Minecraft with any, um, any better efficiency than you want. All right, have a nice day.